Hello everyone. It is Wednesday, June 28th, 2023. This is our weekly live crafting. I'm so excited to be here with you. We're going to start in just a minute and I have a new card to create with you. So if you're watching the replay, don't forget to give it a comment, a thumbs up, and a subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for sharing. And let me know you're here and where you're from. We are going to just wait a second and I will tell you what we're going to do today. So good evening, Margaret. Okay, we should be live both on YouTube and on Facebook. So thank you everyone. Hello, Patty and Tina. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs ups, all of you on YouTube especially, um, and on Facebook too, both of you. Thank you for your thumbs up and comments and shares. I have a really, really um, awesome card to share with you, and I'm so excited because it's a card I received from one of my customers. So I'm going to recreate it with some different products than she used. So I can't wait to show you it and see how the card turns out. That's what we're going to do tonight. Um, hello everyone. I see Ohio on here. Hi Wendy. Um, Canada. Oh, I see lots of friends from Canada. Ontario and Newfoundland. Hi Nancy. Hi Mary. Hello friends. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is like the end of June. Um, can you believe it? It's the very end of June. We do have a starter kit special. I'd love to have somebody um, that's watching tonight join my team. Um, if you need more details, let me know. It's a really great deal, super great deal. And I'm telling you what, my team is a lot of fun. You're going to love to be a part of that. So um, I just wanted to let you know because that is ending. If you took advantage of the free shipping, um, thank you so much. And I will have... Uh, gifts for all of you to mail out. Um, hello everyone. Thanks for joining me this evening. Thank you for your thumbs up everyone. I love your thumbs up. Um, so if you haven't given me a thumbs up, go ahead. Um, also on the YouTube channel, if you haven't liked that or if you're new, um, then feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to that 10,000 mark. That's my goal. Um, oh, we see a lot of Canadian friends on here. Thank you guys. Um, Margaret said, we are in a major haze from the forest fires in Canada. Down here where I live in Michigan as well. In fact, we had the last two days severe air quality. They've like canceled. Um, my son was supposed to have cross-country practice and they've canceled it. Um, and a lot of things have been canceled and they're like, do not go outside and stay outside. So um, hopefully they can get those forest fires out. Um, that's really scary. Um, hello, hello. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight, okay, first of all, I missed you guys last week. I was flying last Wednesday out to actually Las Vegas, Nevada, and then we got in a car and we drove up about two hours to St. George, Utah. So any of you that live out this way, oh my goodness, it is so beautiful out there. Um, I loved it. It's hot, but it can be hot here. It's a different type of hot. And um, I was there for a demonstrator event. So it was all Stampin' Up! demonstrators. We had some downtime, like to relax and do some fun stuff. But we also did some crafting and we talked a lot of business stuff. And it was wonderful. I met some new friends. I reconnected with old friends. And it was just a great time. So um, I posted a video on the birthday confetti kit and um, a lot, I saw a lot of you bought that and even I had a few um, at my studio and I sold um, some of those in my studio too because I had my card club this week and I have one tomorrow. So that kit is really awesome. If you missed that video, check it out because it's a really great kit and I also have some alternative cards that I plan to do a video with using that stamp set and ink pad from that kit. But tonight, I have a card. Should I show you the card or should it be a surprise? I probably need to show you. 
Okay, I do not have a card made, but this is a card that I got from my customer, um, Jane. We'll just, Jane, I don't know if she wants me to say her last name, but her last name starts with a B. And this is her card. Can you see it? It's embossed and it has all these um, the die cut letters and flowers. And when she um, sent, when she was, had to send me a card, she signed up for my Zany Zoo. Um, she said, oh boy, now I have to find like a really, something about like a card that's good enough to send you or something. I'm like, you don't have to worry about that. I'm sure any card you send me, I will love. Well, Jane, um, if you're watching, I absolutely love your card. It is so classic and beautiful. And so we're going to recreate it with some new dies that I just got in. So let me show you the dies and then let's make the card. Like I literally have my cardstock here. And we're going to create it with some new product that just came out in our annual catalog. So, okay, so here is the dies we're going to use. These are called the Paper Florist Dies. I'll show you in the catalog. I've not used these yet. I take that back. I've used a little circle here. This is a half inch circle. Um, and if you have our half inch circle punch, but if you don't, look at all these fun dies. So they make all kinds of flowers and leaves that have stitching. So we're gonna use these dies. And then you notice hers had the word thanks, like die cut. So her card actually has no stamping. So we're not gonna do any stamping, just die cutting today. And so I have the alphabet a la mode dies here. So that's what we're gonna use. We're also gonna use the basics 3D embossing folder because her folder, I believe use the subtle embossing folder. And this like, um, this one and the basics, I I love the basics. There's like a polka dot, this one, and then another, there's three of them. So that's the embossing folder. And let me show you where these are at. So these flower dies are just like a standalone set. There's not a coordinating stamp set. And so they can get easily missed in the back of the book. So they're on page 165 right here. And they're $37. And you can create all kinds of flowers and bouquets. So these make great little embellishments for your cards and scrapbook pages or home decor items. Like however you want to use them, these are going to be an awesome set of flower dies. And you can do them in any colors that you want um, because you can cut them out of paper. So that's what I'm going to use. And then the alphabet dies are right here on page 162 up here. And they're $42, and they come with 52 different dies. So you get all the letters, you get numbers, some symbols, like the ampersand, exclamation point. Um, so it comes with a lot. So uh, if, I love the letters. All right, so that's, that's what we're using tonight. Okay, the one thing I did go ahead and do was I cut my cardstock. It's just um, basic black card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and we're gonna fold this in half. I should have wore a really bright shirt because I kind of have some bright colors and my nail polish is kind of bright, but I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because I've been having the air on because of the air quality thing. Can't open the windows. Okay, so there we have that. This is just our basic black. So this is our card base. And then the only other thing I went ahead is I embossed our black layer, again, with the, the Basics 3D embossing folder. So this is five and a quarter by four. And let me see. This is actually gonna be popped up on dimensionals. The other thing I already pre-cut is a layer of white to go on the inside, because black, we want white to write on. But if you had like a gel pen, or they have some really cool pens and markers, you could use that that would stand out on the black. But we're gonna just put a little white insert. Okay, so there's like the bones of our card. Do you see that embossing folder? So cool. All right, thank you for everyone that just hopped on. Thank you for your thumbs up, your shares. Okay. All right, so now we're going to create our flower. Now on her card, she used Poppy Parade and that Old Olive and maybe Crushed Curry. And so I'm just going to change the colors out a little bit. I love the color she used. But I went to my little scrap bin and I have white, uh, Granny Apple Green, uh, Daffodil Delight, and Melon Mambo. So 
let's grab our die cutting machine. This is a little mini one. Um, again, I love my big one. Like I had, I already embossed because I had to have the big one for this. So if you need a die cutting machine or if you want a new one, I highly recommend the big one because it does everything. But if you already have a big one and you craft a lot, this little mini one is so cool because it does do, I would say like 80% of what you would want to, you know, die cut. So it is really handy and doesn't take up a lot of space. So I love it for that purpose. So, okay, we're done with the embossing folder. So let's see what kind of dies we have. Again, I've never used, never used these flower dies. Oh, we're gonna use foam adhesive sheets for our letters. I thought that would be fun. And I have a whole sheet here, so I'm gonna show you how to use those. All right, so. This is why I always do it ahead of time because I feel a little nervous right now. I've never even used these. So hopefully we can make an awesome card like her card. Okay, so the thing with this is we need, like this piece is a little bit too wide. So I need to trim it down. And um, we're gonna trim it down to the plate is about almost three and a half inches wide so I'm I'm have this die here so I'm going to do about three and a quarter I think that's the only one I have to trim down so this is melon mambo okay so we have now when I use this machine I do not follow the directions I always use the gray plate three so I put that on the bottom this is just what works every time for me, no questions asked. Then I have a clear plate. Then I put my paper down, my die or dies. I'm gonna put um, these down as well because I think these can layer inside of there. Again, we're gonna find out together. Okay, my hair out of the way. I left my hair down today. I just went and got it uh, trimmed earlier. Yes, I got my hair trimmed. Cut a half inch cut off. It's still super long. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna run this through. Thank you for sharing, Joan and Pam. Okay, so, oh, I gotta get it going straight. All right. Okay, here we go. Della. We're gonna find out, but I think we're gonna love these dies. I think they're gonna be awesome. Okay, so I don't think, I think I like didn't get the bottom all the way cut. Let's look real quick. Nope, I didn't, but I don't think I'm gonna use that one, so that's okay. See, it like didn't cut the bottom all the way. All right, so there's those. Now we're gonna cut out, I'm just gonna pop these out. Okay, we're gonna set these aside. Look at these cute little flowers. Okay, next we're gonna do a leaf. And I really like this one with the stitching. Well, I like all of them, but that's this is the one we're gonna use. And I'm gonna use, um, for some flower centers, let's use maybe that one right there. Hello, hello. Okay, and so the Daffodil Delight, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off a piece so I can run these both at the same time. Okay, so get my little machine. Okay, again, I use the gray plate three, a little clear plate, your paper, and that. Okay, then your top plate and crank it through. All right, and then sometimes I just go back because it's not very far. All right, let's see. Okay, that's cute. I don't know if I'm gonna put more than, I don't know how big this flower is, so I'm going to cut out a couple of these. So then we just have choices. Okay, so I'm gonna do another, I'm just gonna go this way and do another leaf and another one of these. All right. 
So one of the things I did when I was in Utah, I should post pictures on my business page, is we did this ATV in Red Rock, like, you know, on a big four-wheeler. And my friend Rhonda and I rode together, and then our other two friends rode on another one. And it was so much fun and also so terrifying because it was like, you know, the red sand dunes and giant rocks, and it was definitely experience in a day I will never forget. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but I was holding on so tight. I have, I don't know if you can see, of blisters and calluses all over my hands because I was like holding on so, so tight. Um, kind of funny. Okay, let's put these back and let's go on to our next piece. Okay, so the, again, these are the paper florist dies. They're in our annual catalog. They do not come in a bundle. They're a standalone die, die set. Okay, so then our next thing we're gonna do is our letters. And so I have a piece of, we're done with this cardstock. Let's move it out of the way. I just grabbed some scrap white and I'm gonna use the foam sheet. So these come in a package. It's just like a giant dimensional, a giant square of a dimensional. So that's cool. You can just take your scissors if you want like thick strips or, you know, you're doing like a really big craft project. So you can do, um, you can do a lot with these. And I'm going to measure over here. I'm just measuring how like long this die is. And it is one in, I don't know, maybe five eighths. I'm gonna do one in three quarters is what I'm going to cut this at. I'm gonna try to cut it right on here. One and three quarters. Oh, you can cut it on your paper trimmer. It didn't go all the way through, but you see it cut it enough that I can do that and then take my scissors and then I have a little perfect little edge there. I've never done that, so I thought I would try. Okay, all right, so then this strip here, what you're gonna do is it has, it's sticky on both sides. See, there's two different sides to it, so I'm gonna peel the one side off, and then on a piece of white, I'm going to stick this down. Now, I didn't go over the whole edge. So I'm actually going to put a little piece back on there so it won't be all sticky. There we go. Okay, so now this works the same way. So the back is still sticky and on and intact. So I'm going to I'm going to do the same she did. Thanks. A, I need the T. Okay, could I see the T right here? So some of these you get like more than one of the letters. So there's two T's, we have an H, T-H-A, I need an N, yep, I'm doing spelling, K, and an S. So you could spell whatever word you wanted. You could spell out hello, you could spell out friend, you could do grad if you still need some graduation cards or love, wedding, Okay, there we go. So we have our word thanks. And if you really wanted to be particular, you could, you know, space it out perfectly. I even have some like post-it note tape here, but I don't think I need it. So I'm going to put the top on. Now this is a little, um, it's a little bit thicker, but I promise you it goes through just like normal. And it's, and if it, you hear that noise, that's okay. It's not going to you hear that? That's normal. Like it's not breaking. That's die cutting. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now you can see kind of on the back where it did cut them out. Okay, we're done die cutting, so let me move that out of the way. And let me put my letters back. I have them in like a particular order. Like I have all the A's. Um, okay. H N K I think the K whatever S 
Uh, sorry, Alicia, if you're watching this, you're going to have to help me put those back in order. Okay, but these dies are really cool. Okay, come on. I get asked a lot how I, where I got my magnetic sheets and my cases. There's a video on my YouTube channel on how I do my um, embossing folder. So if you want to check that out, it is a video. I have an organizational video and that's where that is. Okay, so now let's, let's make our card. Here we go. So I'm going to just work with the top layer here for right now. And we are going to take our, uh, I'm going to separate these. Okay, so we have two of these bigger flowers and two of these little flowers. And does that go like you can, you can put them this way. We could put those on top that way. We can layer this flower like that. And then put one of these on top. There's so many different. Maybe we could put that one on top like that. I don't know, there's so many different ways you could do it. I feel like I might need more than one flower though, because, well, let's see, here's her flower. I guess it's a little bit smaller, but not too much smaller. But if we did like three, let me see. Come on, little green leaf. I mean, they always say threes, because then we could have like one there. But I only did, I didn't plan on layering them up, but I feel like they're a little naked just like that. So I think I need to run one more of this little one. Okay, bear with me, I'll be really, really fast. Look at, I got the paper right here. Let me get the dye and run one more flower through. Okay, let's grab this. But look at all the different flowers. Like this one, the petal slices up so you can like, you can do some really, really cool things. Okay, so that means I'm gonna need another yellow too though. All right, let's do that. Okay. Do you guys ever do this when you're crafting? Like, oh no, just kidding, I need, I need more. All right. I'm just positioning this like this and or am I the only one that changes or mine or needs to add as I go? Hopefully not. Okay, there we go. Again. I just want the these these ones and the yellow center. Yeah, yep, those ones you can layer the petals and curl them. Yep. They're I they're really neat. We used to have like a bigger like a die with that. You can do some real like you can curl them and like add tons of layers to them. Make them as big or as small as you want. They're really really cool. All right. Now, here we go. Maybe I just need to add the things first. Okay, and of course it's six letters long. So I always start in the middle and then work my way out. So that is going to be the A and the N. So again, these are going to be like little 3D letters. So I did this with a graduation card a while back with these foam. And so that was really fun. And now we're doing it with these. I love the foam sheets. Like I don't use them, I should use them more, but I really do like them. Okay, I'm just trying not to rip my end because I'm getting a little impatient with it. Come on. Hopefully this fits. I don't even know. We might have to make our card going the other direction. We'll see. This Ours is like tall and skinny. 
So I'm just popping these little letters out. So sometimes these letters, because they're so skinny, you use your liquid glue or the um, adhesive back sheets. That works really well. But because of this, they're already sticky on the back. If they're so sticky, I can't even get them out. Um, so, come on. Okay. And I'm not pressing them down super hard until I get them in the or the spacing I want. Okay, here's our S. Okay, get your little leg over there. Okay. The T and the H. Joan, it do, that's it reminds me of that too. That was a really good one. So yeah, you could do this card with any flower dies that you have. This is just one I just got because I so I was so excited. Okay, and now our T. Okay. Does that look straight? I think it's as straight as I'm gonna get without having glasses on. Okay. Oh, my T looks a little shorter compared to my H, but there we go. There's our things. You see that embossing? Okay, so now we're going to put our flower on here. So I'm gonna do three flowers because mine are a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna just take these petals and I'm going to layer them um, offset them like that. Again, you can do so many different things with these, but I'm just going to use uh, regular adhesive to put them together and I'm going to pop them up on there with a dimensional. So this is one of the bigger ones. You could use mini glue dots as well, um, which is probably what I should have done because I only want it on the center. Where are they? I just took all my like basic things with me on the trip and I didn't unpack them. I have clearly more than one, but the ones I usually use aren't near me. Okay, there's that. And this. Hello from Iowa, Peg. And here. Okay, there's that. And now if you wanted, you could take these if you wanted to add a little something extra and add like even more detail. But I think, I don't know if it needs it or not. I wish you guys were, maybe, maybe we'll just add it because we have them. Why not? There we go. And then this goes over. I'm going to use the little one with the little dots. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I am going to add these little, these little pieces. And while I was, now my liquid glue is gone. Goodness. Okay, i got to find something here. Here's some glue dots. All right. I just got a brand new box. I think my friend Nancy was watching. Nancy, I got my empty roll right here. You will be proud. Okay, so I'm just putting that there and then these. Okay. So, friends, I do. Uh, if you ordered the Zini Zoo, you know, the summer stamp camp that's supposed to ship out on Friday. So, be checking you know early next week hopefully that everyone will be receiving them in the mail it's like it was super fun super fun camp to do okay here's our flowers okay they're super fun and now we're going to add our little flower centers and so i'm just also going to add um Uh, Linda said, I notice a lot of people using adhesive instead of glue. Um, what kind of glue? 
I this is what I use like 99.9% .9 of the time or mini glue dots or adhesive sheets. I actually am not a fan of the liquid glue just because I get it all over my hands and it gets sticky. So I've never really used a lot. So if other people, I'm not sure if that's what you're um, asking, if that's the glue, the liquid green glue, but I've never really used that a lot. Um, this is what I usually use the tape runners. And so if they switch it probably is just a, um, maybe a personal preference. I, I'm not sure. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm just not, I've never been a huge fan of adhesive glue just because it, it's so sticky to me. Okay, so here's our little flowers. Aren't they cute? And so now I'm going to position them kind of like this. I'm going to put the bigger one off to the right. I need my dimensionals. Yeah, I'm not sure, Linda. My, I have like some people, uh, some friends that help me in my studio and they pr do prefer the liquid glue. So I buy it for them to use, but it's, um, yeah, not, so here you go. You can fold these a little bit too, if you want. If you mail the card, it's just going to get squished, but okay, there's one and then I'll pop these up. I'm just using little dimensionals. Oh yeah, Sunny, I, I didn't even realize I did that. But yeah, I like to stick them right on the dot and then they just come right off so easily. Yeah, that's a good way to use them. Okay, so I put in my little dimensional on the back here of these flowers. And I'm gonna add these two kind of over here. And then we're gonna take our green leaves look at these leaves look at how cute these leaves are with the little stitching there yes I agree Linda yep everyone definitely has their own you know yeah favorites and stuff so yep my um my two ladies that help me a lot that they love they absolutely love the liquid glue so I get that for them to work with here and I do use it every so often but my go-to is yep that Okay, so then we need, I want another one here. I actually think I'm going to cut this apart. So have you ever cut your leaves apart to make them go a little bit further? So this one's kind of long. So I'm going to tuck, there's the tip of it. I'm going to tuck one there. And then I could even cut this down here and put like a little bit of, well, I don't want it hidden. Put a little bit down there if you wanted. I think two is enough though. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, where's my glue dot? And I'm going to put one here. A lot of my, um, a lot of my friends love the liquid glue though. Like a, I know a lot, I lo a lot of my friends do love it. So it's always like our joke with each other The you know, because like you said, it is just a personal preference. Okay, there's that. And now my little leaf I trimmed. We're going to tuck that there. And then, of course, we're going to add some rhinestones. Because on Jane's card, she used some rhinestones too. And it's so, so pretty. Okay, we're going to just tuck that right there. Now, if you were in person, you could see all these layers, the stitching, the background, the foam dots that's popped up. It's so beautiful. Okay. And I have some rhinestones here, but let's, let's attach this to the card. So again, she used dimensionals. So let's use dimensionals and put them here. This is a really fun, um, this is a really fun set of dies, both of them. You can do all kinds of things. All right, there we go. We have that off. There's our card thing here. Okay. Let me see how 
on that. Now let's take your take your pick tool and let's add a few of these rhinestones. So I like to add we'll add at least three of these. There we go. Oh, we gotta add the inside because um it's black. So we have the five and a quarter by four. I'm gonna add it inside. Uh, when I first started paper crafting, I was a scrapbooker and I use glue sticks. And I feel like I spent most of my time in the bathroom washing my hands because I hate the sticky feel. So when I discovered a tape runner, I was like in heaven. Um, that Just thinking about, you know, the adhesives. But there is our card. Um, let me know what you think. Look at all these beautiful flowers and textures and the foam on the letters. What do you think with the three flowers? Do you like it? Okay, again, and a shout out to, uh, I'm going to call her my friend, Jane, who is one of my customers who sent me the most beautiful card here. This is Jane's card. I got it in the mail. I loved it so much, and it inspired me to make this card live with you. Again, I just grabbed the pieces and was like, let's create a card together tonight. So this is what I have. What do you think? Do you like it with the three flowers? I think it looks good. Um, Cause I couldn't find something quite as quite as big as that. I love that. I just love this with the one flower. Like I think that's so pretty. And so you could do one flower, but I really like the three little bunch of them. Okay, these dies are awesome. There's little dots in here. Um, I hope you. I hope you like the card. All right, let me see. I'm gonna turn you back up. All right. Okay, oh, lots of you love it. Thank you for the hearts and your thumbs up and your, okay, awesome. So there's our card for tonight. Um, again, if you need any products, oh, I forgot. Here's the host code you can use to go shopping and order any products and um, Again, if any of you are interested in joining my team in the starter kit, I have a whole thing on my uh, blog is, or my website, Owl Star Stampers. You can click on join my team. It has it explains a lot of stuff in the link or you can email me as well. Um, we would love to have you do that. And I think that's it for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, and I will probably be back at some point before next Wednesday to do some crafting with you. Uh, whether it's the paper pumpkin alternatives, I know I need to do that. I did, my boxes arrived while I was gone, so I have paper pumpkin alternatives on the docket, as well as some alternatives with that birthday confetti kit. If you have not checked out our kits collection, it's online, they're amazing, awesome kits. So check those out. All right, thank you for your comments. I'm glad you love the card. Again, thanks Jane for your beautiful card you sent me. Um, I It made me realize I need to show you guys, when you guys send me cards, I need to feature them every week and at the start maybe show all the cards you guys send me. I love receiving your cards. Each and every one of them makes me smile and happy. So thank you when you do send me a card. It really makes my day. I, I love cards, clearly. So thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.